little bit of the whitening over there by the hospitals where they weren't having to take the full right away or that Gary Street saving the 30 million but that little bit of whitening this is your FEC there's your railroad this is your FEC being reconstructed completely was originally only a widening this is your F and G ramps that's where we're going to be shifting traffic out to create a work zone in here in mid-December this is your Overland Bridge it's this area so that's your Overland Bridge JTA parking garage right now we have this built the northbound collector distributor we have the winding on the outside of the southbound collector distributor built eventually we'll be shifting all the existing traffic on 95 southbound northbound out to these collector distributors in a temporary configuration so we can rip out the rest of the overland and rebuild it as you move further south this is the ramp K the third level flyover that goes to eastbound Atlantic so right now they have the columns and caps up they still need to build the end bents that's part of the reason that they're going to have that southbound collector distributor traffic shifted over to the south in about three or four weeks mid-December so they can build that end bent and this end bent and you'll start seeing steel girders being hung over the next probably probably in January we'll start seeing that it's just we're going to shift traffic in a temporary configuration over to this ramp M where northbound Phillips will come up to this way to get eastbound Atlantic westbound cut across that Green Island that's out there being destroyed and then when we're talking about this is Bishop Kenny up this way as you come in and you're headed northbound you have a decision point you have to pay attention to the signs if you want to go to Main Street or Acosta this is where you have to decide you'll make that decision and this is in final configuration to get over this will put you on the northbound collector distributor take you over to new overland on the outside northbound collector distributor and it'll take you all the way down to the ramps over here for main street and acosta and prudential so coming back atlantic coming back down again that decision point you don't want to go to main street acosta or prudential then you have to stay left and get on this other ramp which will take you onto I-95 northbound and across the Overland and across the Fuller Warren. Now coming over, continuing down, let's go on the southbound side of I-95 and the collector distributor. As you come up, the Phillips area now is being reconstructed between basically John Street where the Osteen Volvo dealership used to be, the store, storage area will be a pond, but there will be a new interchange right here off Phillips. Phillips will be straightened out for northbound where it will no longer jog to the east of I-95. It will stay on the west side of 95 and continue in both where you have both directions on Phillips coming off Kings and from the hotels and stuff where you can access eastbound and westbound Atlantic. Also with this interchange you can come down now and you can go northbound I-95 as well as southbound I-95. So that's a new interchange that did not exist before. Okay, continuing, going down south. Southbound just continues on and will connect into the existing. Now as you're coming in northbound, you'll start coming in to the project. You'll start widening this outside lane right around the San Diego overpass or where Douglas Anderson School of the Arts is. And as you widen that area, that ramp will start coming evident. You have to make a decision here at this point if you're going to continue to go I-95 northbound or if you're going to get on the northbound collector distributor or service road to get to the Acosta Main Street or Prudential Drive exits. So this will be your decision point now. So that northbound I-95 has to make that decision. Am I getting off on the Acosta Main Street or Prudential exits or am I staying on I-95 northbound? Once you get off to that northbound service road you can also access Atlantic eastbound or continue across Atlantic onto the Main Street, Acosta and Prudential exits. There will be no recovery back to 95 northbound off the northbound collector distributor. There will be recovery off the southbound collector distributor right in this area 
you see the southbound collector distributor or service road coming in where there will be a recovery if you got off on it by accident that you could get back on 95 southbound.